want to say that if you don't already have your bees hoodie and shirt, I feel really bad for you because I am chilling like a villain, looking iller than Magilla in my sweatshirt, and I love it. I love it so much, and I'm so glad that I got this for Christmas. So you guys should have hopped on the train and got this super cool hoodie. However, this is not what the video is about. Like my. I'm wearing this hoodie because I love it and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. But I'm making this video today to talk about my 2016 resolutions. I was going to say New Year, but I... 2016 New Year resolutions. Now this is not a New Year, New Me Boo Boo kind of video. Like, not at all. This is just a video that I wanted to make because I feel like saying it will resonate better with me later on rather than writing it because if I write it which is what I've been doing for the past couple of years I'm just not going to pay attention to it like I'm just going to look at it and be like ah, like you know I'm going to get super lazy but if I say it and then publish it on YouTube it's kind of like okay you have to do this now like you really have to do this because then it'll kind of force me to show you guys um what I have actually done throughout the year so that is the purpose for this video. So, I don't know if you guys can really tell, I feel like you probably can, but I'm not wearing makeup today. And the reason is because my very first resolution is to take better care of my face. I have to work at a movie theater, and though it doesn't say that you need to wear makeup, I feel like it's kind of better for me to put my best face forward when I'm greeting customers, and I just, as I said in my last video, I don't really like my acne scars or my bumps, so I kind of covered that up with makeup, and because I've been wearing makeup almost all week, my face is irritated, it's acting out, and I really want to take better care of my face because I want my face to be clear, and I can't do that if I'm always wearing makeup. So I decided to not wear makeup in this video, to let my skin breathe, and just, you know, test loving my skin and taking really good care of it. My second resolution is actually one that I've been working on since 8th grade. I'm now in 12th grade and I still haven't hit this resolution or completed it and that is to get all three of my splits. My right, left, and my middle. And I came so close to getting my right this past year I got down to the ground and then I stopped stretching for, I think, four or five days and just lost it. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And I need to work on my consistency terribly. I will show you guys my progression from now until however long it takes for me to get all three. And hopefully by the end of 2016, I will have all three splits because as a dancer, it's kind of necessary that you be flexible and it's always been a personal goal of mine to be flexible because I just like how it looks and I just want to be able to do splits. I think splits are really cool. So that is my second resolution. My third resolution is I don't want to go to school in North Carolina for college. Like I want to go to school out of state. Um, and I say this because no shade or anything to North Carolina. It's a wonderful state. I love it here in the South. Um, but I don't like the fact that I can go to Raleigh or Greensboro or Charlotte and run into people that I know here in Fayetteville. Like I just, we all kind of go to the same places because if you're from Fayetteville, the only real cool places to go besides Fayetteville is either Charlotte, Raleigh, Greensboro, Myrtle Beach, Winston-Salem. Like, it's just, you run into everyone. I don't want to run into anyone. I just want to go someplace where no one knows who I am so I can get a fresh start and just find me. That's what I want to do in 2016. Just find me with new people new environment and just live <laughs> okay so my fourth resolution is a bit of a stretch but i kind of don't care because i really just want it and my fourth resolution is i want to move to new york city like i just i really want to live in new york city for 2016. why because i've wanted to live there since i was six um 
it's such a wonderful place in my opinion and I feel so comfortable when I go there like everything just feels right it feels like I belong in the city I know it's a really big place and I know it's super busy and super crazy but it fits my personality and for everything that I want to do in life it's like everything is right there like I just I just need to get there and then I can make things happen for myself because no one else can make things happen for me except for me and God but I just really think I need to be in New York City so that's what I'm going to try to do this year hopefully I get into a college in New York City because that would help things so much <laughs> my fifth resolution is to collaborate with at least three different youtubers um, the reason why I want to collaborate with the YouTubers this year is because I think it's important to make friends in the YouTube community um, and because I'm a small YouTuber I don't know why but it doesn't feel like it makes sense to reach out to the bigger ones because like I'm so small I'm so so small and I don't think <laughs> I don't really think they're paying attention to smaller YouTubers at the moment um, so I think it's better to work with other people who are where I am and you know maybe work with them because they're on the same goal or journey as me trying to get to the same level as these youtubers that we all watch and love and know and um, yeah I just I want to get to know people in the community and just socialize if you're already subscribed to me then you already know that I've hit 100 subscribers but if you're new surprise I hit 100 subscribers on YouTube which brings me to my sixth resolution I want to hit 500 subscribers by the end of 2016 why 500 why not like I feel if I push myself I should be able to do it you know I think that if I keep my content right and I'm consistent putting things out for you guys and I make sure that I have the proper exposure by hashtagging the way I need to and posting it on every single social media platform that I'm on and hopefully you guys can help me with this as well by sharing my videos and telling other people about my channels why shouldn't I hit 500 by the end of 2016 like I believe in myself I think I can really do it so it's definitely a resolution for me I feel like there are a fair lot of you guys that are subscribed to me on here because you follow me on tumblr and that brings me to my seventh resolution which is I really really want to hit 5,000 followers on tumblr why because I think tumblr is one of my favorite social media platforms one because I can freely speak my mind there um, I really love writing my mom is an English major so writing is kind of in my blood and she pushes me to put out really good content word wise it helps me work on my grammar it helps me work on researching if you guys don't know I was labeled clapback queen on tumblr one time and I was like thanks guys <laughs> but um I just love tumblr it's so wonderful to be able to just speak your mind and not worry so much you should definitely worry you should be mindful of what you say online because that can come back and bite you in the butt and I'm very mindful of what I post and what I put on my blog because I don't want anybody to come on my blog and be like this is Deanna I mean like if you think that I'd be kind of concerned because I'm pretty much the same way on tumblr as I am in person so I try not to be fake online I want everyone to see me and then not be conflicted if they see anything that I write or publish online because I want to be me everywhere so everyone knows oh yeah that's Deanna for sure so um, I hit I think 1500 in February or March and then by November or late November early December of last year I was at 3,000 followers on tumblr and currently I have 3,473 followers so logistically it doesn't make sense why I wouldn't hit 5,000 this year um, but yeah I really I really just want to hit 5,000 because I know I can do it and it would be fun obviously this hair is not 
hair that I grew on my scalp. And the reason I play with these wigs is because one, I love colors, I think they're just fun. Two, my mom won't let me bleach her, like put peroxide into my hair because it's not healthy, it's not really safe for my kind of hair. Um, and two, why not? Like there, there's no law against this kind of hair. <laughs> um, back in 2014, I cut my hair off, like mid neck, because one, it was heat damage, and two, I just felt like I needed to start over. I needed a fresh start. I wanted to really grow my hair healthily because it used to be waistly. I cut it um, right before I started eighth grade, which was back in 2000. No, no, no. Right before I started ninth grade, which was towards the middle of 2011, like summertime. Um, so my goal for 2016 is to grow my hair bra shopping. At the moment, it's I think it's right at my shoulder, um, but my hair is heat damaged, so I have to trim it a lot now because I accidentally damaged just the front uh, about two months ago because I was checking my length. I straightened it and I messed up everything up here. The rest of my hair is fine. It's just sadness. It's super straight and it won't curl for anything. So. Hopefully by March 1st, it'll be better, and I can take more pictures and show you guys my progression. But yeah, I really want bra shop length hair for 2016. And last but not least, I just want to love myself in 2016. I want to really be comfortable in my skin, be okay with who I am, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be an easy thing just getting over all the insecurities I have and the self-esteem problems but I want to do better at getting over those things and I really want to just love me for me and accept myself rather than looking for other people to accept me because you know other people's opinions don't matter as much as my opinion myself does so definitely a really big personal goal of mine and hopefully by the end of 2016 I can confidently say that I really really love myself. Comment below and tell me what some of your 2016 resolutions are and you know they don't have to be as long as mine were most definitely. You don't have to make a big old list but that's just how I do things. Um and yeah hop to it. <laughs> you know, I think if you really put your mind to something and you really want it, you can definitely accomplish it. You just really have to be consistent with everything. Share this with people you know, people you don't know, people you like, and people you dislike. Why share it with people you dislike? I think because people you dislike probably aren't being pushed either. So if you are pushing yourself and you see this video and you feel pushed to push yourself more, Think about the person that you dislike. Maybe they can be pushed more and then they won't have to be someone that you dislike because maybe they'll start acting in some kind of way that you like. And then everything's better. I don't know. Just share it. <laughs> Alright guys, bye. If Donald Trump wins this next election, I might as well just call myself an American since Americans can't place proficient politicians in the proper places. If Trump wins, I'm gathering up every sneakerhead I know for the revolution.